starting your journey to financial freedom. Now. Now. You are listening to the New Investor Podcast. This is the Young Investor for the New Investor Podcast, and it is day 30 on our journey towards financial freedom. A month has already passed since the inception of this podcast and since I have had this wish to document my journey and share it with you. To that effect, I would like to share some statistics and actions I have taken to prove to you what can be achieved in a short period of time by only applying determination and discipline into the projects you intend to execute. We all agree that we are working towards achieving important goals for ourselves and our future. So what did I do exactly? One, I started investing. As a direct result of investing, I have realized to date 22.03% gains from my initial investment and I am not doing anything exceptional. I lost bought I last bought stocks 2 months ago. But remember, I started with $2600 in February 2018 and today my portfolio value exceeds $61,000. Second, I then changed, obviously, my spending habits. By changing those habits, I was able to save a lot of money and I was able to establish a budget for myself. So I managed to save 65 to 70% of my income just by putting this on paper and establishing a budget. And by changing those habits and then by investing this money, I was able to grow the account value Uh, my account value since uh, February 2018 by 2,245%. So also, you have to learn from your previous mistakes. And I adjusted my strategy from 2018. It was a year where I was still learning to invest. And I lost $4,000 from my initial investment by buying and selling, not knowing what I was doing. But by learning and documenting myself, I have increased my dividend creation from $0 in December 2018 to $765 a year. Only a few months later, by simply investing in blue chip stocks, we covered the blue chip uh, stocks in previous episode, uh, but stocks that really only pay out dividends. And I will only invest in those stocks paying dividends. And I will reinvest all these dividends yearly into buying more stocks. What did I do also? I ensured I was doing well at my current job. I increased my income in 2019 by exceeding my targets and unlocking my yearly bonus, which in return, I used 90% of it towards reinvesting. But I also sacrificed. I changed work location. I got promoted. I increased that salary of mine. And I also launched a side project. So I have launched this podcast and I published 22 episodes for which I am far from being an expert about podcasting with now a small pool of listeners from six countries. I do this after hours and after 12 hours, 12 hours workday running two luxury resorts in a remote and difficult location while always ensuring I exceed my targets to continue increasing this income for 2020. I did not give up early. I'll give you an example. I have tried uh, and failed my first ads campaign for this podcast, which ended up costing me more than $200, but did not convert anything. I learned why this could happen. I understood better how ads were working online. So I readjusted. I tried again by launching another campaign, which could possibly also fail, but I learned from my first mistake. My listeners grew from zero to seven in a month, and my episode played 143 times to date, or five times on average per day. Most would qualify this as a failure due to possibly entitlement, uh, instant gratification and impatience, and within the first month possibly will give up. I take this as a victory. You need to accept how the market functions and persevere as it will take years to build an audience only if you are good enough and if the market adopts what you have to propose. What is undoubtedly sad is that we tend to believe that good things or growth happens by simply wishing uh, for it to happen. I used to wish it too, but I certainly did not realize that so much would happen in such a short period of time by simply starting doing. 
I, be- I started doing what I believe needed to be done, what I believe made sense, but I started doing. I trust I brought some good value to you today, and I always post my financial progress on the episode description as to keep track and numbers of my journey. You can also visit my website. It's a new website. It's www.theinvestorpod.com, theinvestorpod.com. I have a countdown there to achieve my next financial milestone, 107 days left to reach $75,000 account uh, and portfolio value. How about you do the same? I would love to hear from you and what you have done this month to, to, to actually change your situation. In the meantime, I wish you all a beautiful day ahead.